Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. A man remains on the run a full year after deputies say he shot his wife to death with their children nearby. Enrique Toledo's family remains worried for their safety, but there are also questions about a key court decision in this case. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau is tracking the story for us tonight. Jen and Keith, investigators say Heather Toledo was shot to death in front of one daughter with her two other girls in a nearby room. One year later, the family remains worried about where the accused killer is, and they wonder who is looking for him. Frantic 911 calls came from this home in Valrico at around 9.30 at night, July 3rd, one year ago. Records show 54-year-old Enrique Toledo told the operator he killed his wife with his children nearby, although he later claimed the shooting was an accident. <laughs> Heather Toledo's family was devastated, but it got worse when the suspect went on the run hours before a hearing for allegedly violating a no-contact order by texting his daughters. Court records show the bond was initially forfeited, meaning the bondsman would be on the hook for the bail, but that was later said to be a clerical error. The judge had instead revoked the bond, eliminating the forfeiture of $150,000. It's infuriating, to be completely honest. Toledo's family is worried the bondsman has no obligation or reason to track down Toledo. They have experience. They find these people. Um, so having those extra set of eyes to find him would be really beneficial. We went through more than two years of Hillsborough County capital murder records. In addition to having one of the lowest bonds of all those crimes, Toledo's case is the only one we could find with revoked bond for a defendant who did not show up for a hearing. It's infuriating. It's heartbreaking for these girls. It's heartbreaking for the entire process, everything that they've been through. And it's just another letdown by the county. The bondsman in Toledo's case is Frank Cueto, who tells me despite the bond being revoked, quote, we are actively looking for him. I don't want this to become a headache in the future. You never know what's going to happen. On the one year mark since the tragedy, Toledo's loved ones say they'll spend the day doing everything Heather loved to do while hoping someone will find Toledo. There are good days and bad days. I don't know if it gets easier, but there are good days and bad days. And we are told judges do have the power to change a revocation to forfeiture, but so far that has not happened in this case, Keith. Well, you mentioned $150,000 being such a low bond for a crime like this. Right. Any reason for the low bond? You know, it was one among the 10 lowest for murder defendants from the last three years. The state attorney asked for a $300,000 bond. Toledo's public defender asked for one fifty, pointing out it was a domestic case, and Toledo had claimed self-defense was involved. The judge decided the lower bond was enough. All right, uh, we'll look forward to the follow-up okay. because obviously Absolutely. he's still out there. He needs yes. to be found quickly. Thank you, yeah. Walt. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, call the 8 on your side helpline. The telephone number 